What's the focus of Gazprom Marketing and Trading's work? So Gazprom Marketing Trading, or GM&T, is the trading and optimization entity of the Gazprom Group. And within there, we've got the Clean Energy Department, which primarily focuses on emissions reduction markets and carbon trading, as well as gas as the cleanest fossil fuel, where are new markets where we can deploy that in an emissions context. What do these World Finance Awards mean to a fast-growing energetic company like yours? Oh, it's very important for, to get recognised for the work you do, particularly with the UK being the, the centre, the hub of the global carbon markets. To be recognised as uh, best carbon trader in Northern Europe is obviously a, a significant award. Similarly, the Rimba Rare project is something we feel we've been very much a leader in. It's the world's first ever uh, avoided deforestation project that has successfully gone through the auditing process and therefore to be recognised that you know, that is a significant step forward in, in your market area is, is, is very rewarding. The markets you work in are dynamic, fast developing, fast moving. How do you keep a competitive edge? Well, one of the challenges with the carbon markets is the, the framework in which you're operating is very, is very regulatory driven and therefore changing all the time. So you really do have to be one step ahead of seeing where, what is my market going to be in the next five years, uh, which, which can be challenging. But with the strength of having a, a group like Gazprom behind you, from the balance sheet to different technology applications to client relationships, you have, uh, it, it, it makes your life a lot easier. Any discussion on this market has to touch on the UN's climate talks in Cancun at the end of 2010. What's the upshot from those talks? Well, I think there's a very mixed, uh, mixed view of how the, the Cancun talks went. There was a lot of positives. As a whole, countries worldwide were very engaged. They wanted to commit to a new phase of, uh, of emissions markets beyond the end of this 2012 Kyoto period. There was a lot of financing pledge. There was a lot of commitment to the market mechanisms like the Clean Development Mechanism or CDM. That is part of the Kyoto framework, but that would be extended out. But the, the big elephant in the room is the fact that if, if you want to use market mechanisms, you need the demand. And until the countries pledge to legally binding targets to reduce their emissions, it, it's all somewhat of a, of a moot uh, discussion. So. You've already mentioned the Rimbaraya project in Indonesia. What's the really interesting part of that project for you? Well, for me, it's, it's the uniqueness of it. The general public often think when they talk about, when they think about carbon trading, is, oh, that's all about planting trees. But in reality, to date, there's been very little engagement in the forestry sector in relation to carbon markets. For example, the European Emissions Trading Scheme explicitly prohibits forestry credits uh, for use within the system. So what we have here is all of the world's forestry experts coming together and saying, yes, this is a way we can actually quantitatively measure how to reduce emissions from prevention of deforestation. Uh, so that's a groundbreaking uh, proposal. What's Gazprom Marketing and Trading's role in the Rimbaraya project? Right, so Gazprom Marketing and Trading came in really as, as financier uh, for the early stage of the project. And as well, we are the route to market for all of the emissions reduction credits that will be generated by the project. What are the social and environmental benefits that make the project special for you? Well, that's, that's really a key, key component of the project, again, which makes it very unique is that if you really are going to prevent deforestation in, in local communities in developing countries you have to engage the local communities so it's the social benefits programs the education the healthcare, and wider benefits that really make this project possible. Dan Barry thank you.